Hello, I'm Jacob and this is the Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about setting up your sling, specifically something that is very important that I want you to avoid. Now I was in the military for four and a half years as an airborne infantryman, deployed to Logar Province, Afghanistan. I learned with my sling the hard way. You'll see in this picture here I'm wearing a one point sling and in this picture here I'm not. This was literally these pictures were taken a few minutes in between each other um, and essentially what happened I bought a really expensive one point sling with an H and K clip at the end and I had it attached at a one point mount to a Midwest Industries one point adapter on my issued AR. It was metal to metal and what I'm here to tell you is that if at all possible, never mount your sling metal to metal. I learned this the hard way in the military uh, and I'm constantly reminded of it today because what I do for a living is I make custom beach and tactical slings like the one that I'm wearing now. And what I'm gonna show you is specifically a problem that I see very often because as a sling maker, I just see some crazy stuff, guys. So, when you are looking at setting your sling up, you should have a sling mount like the sling swivel. You might have a Uncle Mike style, old style quick disconnect, or one of these nice push button quick disconnects. By the way, the Midwest Industries recessed button heavy duty quick disconnect is the only quick disconnect that I recommend. Anyways, you want to mount webbing, your sling, directly to a sling loop. Why? What happened to me was carrying my rifle every single day over a period of probably two months, the H and K clip carrying the full weight of the rifle on a single clip failed. Um, Metal to metal makes noise and it will always fatigue. Now, this was a design problem and I don't believe that any one point sling should be set up with loops to attach a clip to. This isn't actually a problem with the Midwest Industries mount. It was actually my first experience with Midwest Industries. The mount was phenomenal and they were just catering to what the market required. Um, and it wasn't necessarily the H and K clips fault. I carry the same H and K clips on my website today and they're extremely high quality products. But how I sell them is typically two clips to a sling, one for either end and usually for knife slings um, that are a lot lower weight. And still I recommend that people do not mount them metal to metal, although it's not as important on a knife. Metal will fatigue against each other. Whichever metal is softer will eventually fail. So when you're setting up your firearm, you do not want to set it up to fail. Maybe you only go hunting once a year. Maybe you never shoot your gun at all, but in your mind, it's your emergency gun. Okay, if it's your emergency gun, do not set it up to fail. Now, the reason I'm making this video is that sometimes you have to use an H&K clip. For instance, many AK-47s are really only set up with a little metal loop at the front of them. And if you gotta put one HK clip up there, that's fine. It's probably going to last you a really long time. Keep in mind that if you use it or have to rely on it on a daily basis, eventually it will fail. But the problem is, is I see a lot of people have a quick disconnect sling swivel like this and they'll attach an H and K clip to it. So this is quick disconnect. Their clip is quick disconnect. What's the point? You don't need two dis quick, you know what I'm saying here. Uh, you don't need two quick disconnect items, one in front of the other, and it will create eventual failure. It creates a weak point on your firearm. Uh, and I'm not saying this because of my customers. Some people will think, oh, well, you know, he's talking to the everyday average Joe buyer of his who buys a sling and then he's, no, that happens sometimes. But 
I see it in the high speed tactical veteran operator door kicker community as well. I was at SHOT Show, in fact, at a manufacturer's booth and they had a push button quick disconnect on a one point and I used it in one of their other points, put it on my back and the whole, the sling swivel actually failed, fell off. It's like, and you guys are running a firearms manufacturing company and you can't put a decent quality QD swivel on there. Anyways, this message is to anybody who has maybe not necessarily thought this through all the way, anybody who's looking at how to set up their sling, it doesn't matter your experience level. Um, you know, in Afghanistan, a lot of people didn't care about their slings and they struggled with a piece of junk sling every day, but they never cared. Being that I'm a sling guy, which led to me inventing the speed sling, uh, and that's something that I think about, it's something that I notice, so if I can help you, it's not because I'm degrading you or because I think you're stupid because how your sling is set up. It's because I understand that not a lot of people think about it and I hope that I can help. So real quick, if you're setting up your sling, avoid all metal to metal contact. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something. Um, this channel is funded and sponsored through sales on my website, beachandtactical.com. I not only hand make and uh, custom make to order rifle and knife slings, but I've also got survival materials, pouches, fire starting kits as well. You can also support this channel through Patreon directly and by buying patriotic apparel with a lifetime guarantee through Grunt Style. I am a brand ambassador for them. All of those links will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I hope that the video helped and that you have a blessed day.